All right, here we go. So first grade, good to see you again. I've had a couple questions about clocks and time, so I'm going to do a little review on our learning wall here with our math measuring time anchor chart. So first, let's review our chart. Two different, time, two different types of clocks. We have our analog, which has a face and the hands, and then we have a digital, which has a screen and the numbers are on the screen. Analog, hands, digital as the screen. And then down here, the short hand is the hour hand. The longer hand is the minute hand. Remember, there's the way that Miss Lamphere remembers this and taught you is that <clears throat> the hour is a shorter word, so it's the short hand. Minute is a longer word, so it is the longer hand. So this clock right here, the shorter hand is pointing at the three. The longer hand is pointing at the 12. And when it's pointing at the 12, is this how we write it? No. Three colon zero zero. So when it's when the minute hand is pointing at the 12, it equals zero, zero. So again, um, going around the top of the clock, starting at the top, when, we, when, when something is pointing at the 12, it is zero, zero. And then we count by fives. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. But we don't put a 60. That's just how we delineate that it's 60 seconds or 60 minutes. We put a zero, zero. So I know in our kits, I included each of you to have one of these clocks. So I am going to mix mine up here. And then I am going to make it say a time. In your spirals, I would like you to write the date. Whenever you watch this, write the date and then number it one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna do five different times, okay? Here's number one. Oops, it moved, here we go. Doesn't wanna stay, yeah. That's number one. What time does my clock say? Write it in your spiral. All righty, here's number two. What time does my clock stay? Write it in your spiral, this is number two. Okay, here's number three. This is number three. Please write it in your spiral. What does my clock say? Here's number four. What does my clock say? Number four. And our last one. What does my clock say? Number five, please write it in your spiral. There we go. So that was one through five with the clock. Now we're gonna switch. I am going to give you times written on a, on a whiteboard and I would like you to write the answer on, I'm sorry we're not writing the answer with your clock make the time 
And this one, I'm not really gonna be able to tell or see how you do it, but one of our future Zoom meetings, we're gonna do this again. So this is just a practice round. One through five, offer my times, need to be in your spiral, whatever date you want on the top, uh, whenever you complete the assignment. And then, please, on your clocks, this is a practice round, write, make these um, five times. Number one. Nine fifteen. Make it with your clock. Number one. Did you get it right? There we go. Number two. Number two, 11.05. On your clocks, make this time, 11.05. Did you get it right? Short hand is the hour hand pointing at the 11. Long hand is the minute hand. Pointing at the one. One represents five minutes. Good job. Number three. Make your clock say Ready? Did you get it right? Remember when we're on the 30, our hour hand is in between the six and whatever number is next. So in this case, it's in between the six and the seven, but if it was 430, then the hour hand would be in between the four and the five. Okay, two more, this is number four. Make your clock say 1240. 1240. 12.40. Hour hand is at the 12, minute hand is at the 8, 1240. All right, one more. Last one. Make your clock say 1025. Drop my 10.25. Did you get it right? 10.25. The hour hand is at the 10. Short hand is pointing at the 10. Long hand pointing at the 5. That's the minute hand. 10.25. There we go. There's our little mini time lesson review. So again, if you have any questions, let me know. Happy to talk to you, happy to Zoom with you, text with you, whatever you need. First grade, I'm here for you. It's kind of awkward being in this classroom all by myself, but we're still learning, we're still figuring this out, and I'm here for you. So give me a ring if you need something.